students of class 9 today's teaching the making of our constitution lesson number 1 now constitution what is the definition of constitution constitution is a comprehensive document comprising laws and uh, rules uh, by which a country or a state is governed this is the definition of the constitution now constitution you know the, then the adoption, date of adoption, 26 January 1950, the constitution was adopted and uh, by the drafting committee under the, you know, chairmanship of the drafting committee, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, 26 January 1950. And now, uh, and at the same time, it gave a birth of the Republic of India. And next point, you know, enactment and the com uh, commencement of the constitution. Enactment and commencement of the constitution. The constitution, uh, which was adopted in on 26 uh, January 1950, the day is especially historical uh, day. Why? Because for the first time, the uh, president of the Lahore session of the Congress, on the very day, 26 January, the year 1929, 1929 uh, raised India's first tricolored tri flag beside the river Ravi during midnight by declaring the main demand of the Congress complete independence. Complete independence. He raised the tricolor India's tri first tricolored flag by the river Ravi, beside the river Ravi during midnight on 26 January 1929. So that's why the day 26 January had become a historic day and hence on that very day 26 January 1950 the constitution was adopted and the drafting committee under the chairmanship of Dr. B. R. Ambedkar resolution also was uh, <clears throat> passed in presence of the members whether they had any objection regarding the system of framing constitution uh, dr b r ambedkar as the chairman of the committee uh, wanted to know and almost all the members came to a conclusion uh, that the constitution whatever was written was good for the country and then unanimously it was passed and then uh, by November 1949, got ready and President Adlava ultimately signed the constitution officially and by declaring it the legal documents of the country, a legal document book of the country. The constitution, you know, another one, our constitution, our com uh, objective resolution, objective resolution, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru framed the historic objective resolution. Now, why was it? Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru, uh, while struggling for freedom movement of India, felt one thing that India was a country of different languages, uh, customs, traditions, sentiments of the people. That's why they should be given equal opportunities in their respective fields. They sh their harm should not be, their sentiments should not be harmed, but should be protected by the country. That's why he gave equal, equal importance to all group of people. And hence, he, uh, he also framed the uh, drafting, he also framed the objective resolution. Apart from this, the constitution which was uh, framed, the drafting committee also came to a conclusion the constitution which was written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was good, but it was one of the lengthiest constitution. In fact, in general, it is said that our constitution, uh, constitution of India is the lengthiest constitution of the world. And unlike the British constitution, our constitution is not unwritten. It is a written constitution. And like the constitution of America, our constitution is a written constitution. The constitution which is written, which was written by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar, uh, uh, fulfilled the aims, 
fulfilled the expectations of all group of people. That's why one system also he introduced amendment. The constitution and its articles can be amended from time to time by the ruling government because in our constitution at present there are 395 articles, 22 parts and 8 schedules. At any time any article can be amended by the presence by, by any ruling party. Now what is required most is, what is the requirement? The, requi the requirement of the consent of the president. But the, a system by which a bill is proposed before making it a law. The bill is passed in both the two houses of the parliament, the Lok Sabha and the Rajya Sabha, and the debates and discussions are, uh, are executed in presence of the members of the parliament as well as the members of the Rajya Sabha. Then finally, the president consents the bill and then it becomes law for the country. This is the system of passing a law. But amendment, amendment, the proposal amendment is raised in special cases in the interest of the country, in the interest of the country's people, amendment is generally done. In that case, the president uh, uh, cannot reject the bill, the president cannot uh, make it delay in, uh, uh, in giving his consent. And hence, the amendment is done, amendment uh, is done. And apart from this, in our constitution, the fundamental rights of the citizens also are also are guaranteed. The fundamental right, the constitution has guaranteed the fundamental rights of the citizens of India. Our country and country's people have right to uh, protect their fundamental rights because fundamental rights are justiciable to a court of law. Whenever their fundamental rights are violated, the person can go to the court and the court generally protects their fundamental rights. In this case, the Supreme Court is the protector of the fundamental rights. The Supreme Court can frame various, uh, you know, laws and, you know, various, uh, introduce, introduces various systems by which fundamental rights are uh, protected and citizens uh, generally get back their fundamental rights. But since fundamental rights are temporarily suspended at the time when Emergency is declared in the country. As soon as emergency is withdrawn, the fundamental rights of the citizens uh, are given back to them and they are able to exercise it. But the time when fundamental rights are suspended, that during that time, during that period, no one can go to the court by challenging it that their fundamental rights are suspended. Since it is special case, emergency case, during emergency, it can be done, and citizens uh, citizens are supposed to wait till their fundamental rights are uh, being enacted. Up to this, my dear students, next day the remaining part, then the teaching of this lesson, lesson number one, will be, will be over, and your syllabus for first terminal, and get yourself ready for the revision test through online.